Alright, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to do third grade math. And we're going to talk about using parentheses. Parentheses. Alright. So, this, is, this might seem a bit difficult, but it's not as bad as you think. So let's get started with this topic. Okay, guys, so you guys may have previously seen things like these in math equations, like this and this, with numbers inside of it, like 4 minus 2. Well, you might be like, wait, what is that little half circle look like? What is that half circle? Well, that half circle right there, that is called the parentheses. Those are called parentheses. Parentheses. Alright, so these are used to describe mathematics. This is used in mathematics, so you know what to do first in an equation. So, let's take an example like the following. Um, 5 minus 2 plus 3. Well, you want the person doing your question to do, let's say you want the person doing your problem to do 2 plus 3 first, and then the 5 minus part. You would put parentheses around the 2 plus 3. And what the parentheses does is that you have to do whatever is inside of these first. And then you do the rest of the equation. So let's go on to a better example where I will solve it out for you so you can get a better understanding for this. Alright, so let's take an example of 6 plus 5 minus 2 and you want the person doing this first so to do this you would first solve out whatever is in the inside of the parentheses meaning the 5 minus 2 and we know that 5 minus 2 is 3 so we bring down the 3 and we bring down the 6 after bringing down the 6 we would add the two numbers because we have the 3 and we would get the answer to be 9. So let's try another example. Now let's take the example of 8 minus 5 minus 3. So we know that the first thing we need to do is do whatever is inside of the parentheses. So what the answer we get from what's inside the parentheses is 2. We have to bring down the 8, and we bring down the subtraction sign also. So, we get our answer to be 8 minus 2, which is 6. Alright, fairly simple. So, on this next slide, I'm going to have a few questions for you guys. The next few slides will contain consist of a couple questions. You guys can try those on your own or you can watch me go through them. Alright, so let's get started with those. Alright, so question number one is 7 plus inside the parentheses 2 plus 3 close parentheses. So, we know from our previous rules that we have to do whatever is inside of the parentheses and inside the parentheses we have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we bring out a 5. The 7 is going to stay as a 7, so the 7 comes down. And we have to bring down the addition symbol also, so the plus goes here. So we know that 7 plus 5 is 12. Alright, let's go to question number 2. Alright, so question number 2 is, open parentheses, 8 plus 4, close parentheses, minus 9. And we know from our rules that we have to do whatever is inside of the parentheses. So inside of the parentheses, we have 8 plus 4, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So we write a 12, we would bring down the negative sign, and we would br also bring down the 9. And then, we know that 12 minus 9 is just 3, so we get the answer to come out as 3. Let's go on to our last question now. Alright, so our last question is a bit difficult. So let's see what we can do. So 
this in this question we have open parentheses three minus two close parentheses plus open parentheses eight plus three close parentheses. In this question we have two parentheses. No difference. All we have to do is do what's inside the parentheses first. So let's look at the first set of parentheses. This set right here. So in this set we have three minus two. Three minus two is just one. So we would bring down a one. Bring down the addition sign. Then we would do what the second set of parentheses has. Meaning eight plus three. Eight plus three is just eleven. So we would bring down an eleven. And we, we now have a simpler equation that we can solve. 1 plus 11. And 1 plus 11 is just 12. That's it. So, that's all for today, guys. If you guys need any help, you guys can rewatch this video or shoot me up an email. And I'll, I'll, I'll be ready to help. Uh, have a great day. And thanks for watching this video.